Problem 5. Square ABCD has side length of 1. Points PQRS each lie on the side of ABCD such that APQCRS is an equilateral convex hexagon with side length S. What is S? So I purposely did not draw anything into the shape because I want to show you how I would draw the shape. Because remember, drawing the shape is half the battle. When you want to number a figure, always go clockwise or counterclockwise. So ABCD or the opposite way around. With this, we're trying to find APQCRS. It's in that clockwise order right? Or counterclockwise, however you look at it. For me, I looked at it as the clockwise motion. If I were to have a six-sided shape and PQRS were to be some points on the thing, then it's very easy to see how this shape would look like, right? If I were to draw, you know, very roughly, it might look something like this, look something like this, then this will have to be PQCRS. And you have the shape that you're referencing. Because with a shape, you can solve the question. Why is this? Because now you know what you're trying to visualize. And when you have a visualization of what this rough sketch looks like, you know what geometric postulates to utilize. In this case, this is an equilateral convex hexagon. Even though it's not drawn perfectly, in your mind, you should imagine it to be so. You remind yourself by labeling each to be X. Now, I know they called it to be S, but I'm going to say it as X because S can easily be confused for a 5, right? So make yourself, make your life a little bit easier to call it X. Therefore, this is right angle. This is 1 minus X. This is also 1 minus X. Notice right here, that's a right triangle. And right triangles should immediately jump at you, jump out at you because of Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Very famous. So from the expression, 2 times 1 minus X squared <coughs> must give X squared. So we can solve for X because we have one equation and one variable. Expand. 2 of 1 minus 2X plus X squared gives X squared which is 2 minus 4x plus 2x squared gives x squared. Minus x squared on both sides, 2 minus 4x plus x squared gives 0. Now you have a second power, so you might be wondering, hey, did I do it wrong? But never fear, the quadratic equation is here, which is that x is 2a of, or let's rewrite it, that's x squared minus 4x plus 2 is 0. So we're referencing this equation. So 2a becomes 2 minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 8. So that's 4 plus minus root 8 over 2. <coughs> but we know 8 is 4 times 2. Square root, that becomes 2 root 2. So that's 4 plus minus 2 root 2 over 2. So what can we say about this? Well, we know that 2 is roughly 1.414 times 2, roughly 2.828. So minus or adding would work both here. So 2 plus minus root 2 would both be valid solutions. But in this case, we're only given 2 minus root 2. So that will be our final answer.